the next question that we have here it is we are config you are configuring bgp committees to control path selection and policy enforcement in your network uh, describe the concept of bgp committees and provide example on how you use them so communities like in in case of bgp communities act as a tag such as for example in other protocol in other igp protocol let's say for example there is a route and that route needs to be advertised to the next router but we can do we can add a tag to that particular route so that it could be easy to identify that okay this subnet has this particular tag value and later on maybe we can block or permit the route based on that tag value so we have n number of prefixes these prefixes are getting advertised to router number two and router number two while these prefixes are advertised to the router number two they are tagged with the number 100 so it basically means like when the prefixes will be received on that neighboring router that neighboring router will receive it along with a tag value that tag value will be used to actually identify those prefixes and later on we can also perform some uh, policies based on the same right now the same tagging concept in case of bgp is known as the community we can tag the prefixes with the help of community in case of border gateway protocol so uh, again committees are the tags committees are just tags that we can add into the prefixes in border gateway protocol now there are two types of committees here we have standard committees and we have extended committees in the standard committee we have like well-known committees and we have defined communities or private communities so well-known communities are more like well-known tags well-known communities are like well-known tags standard well-known committees these are like standard tags there are four tags under this internet no advertise no export and local as these are the names so what do you do you create a prefix list in that prefix list you match the prefixes in which you want to add this tag then you create a route map in that route map you call that prefix list and then you set community internet look no advertise no export or local as and then we, we apply that route map for the bgp neighbor now what happens what happens here once we do that once we once we uh, advertise a prefix with the community what exactly happens here what will happen here is that uh, your border gateway protocol your bgp protocol will advertise the prefixes with the appropriate community tag that we have set so for example like router one is going to advertise these prefixes with the community tag internet these are three prefixes these three prefixes will be advertised to router number two with the help of with community tag internet what does this community tag internet means community tag internet basically means that the neighboring router can receive and advertise these prefixes to everyone which is more like the default behavior that we have actually in border gateway protocol for the prefixes so internet tag internet tag basically means that we are going to advertise the prefixes to we are advertising the prefixes to everyone that is what we receive that is that is what we mean by internet tag neighboring router will receive those prefixes then the neighboring router is going to advertise those prefixes to all the neighbor router okay we can also instead if we don't want to, the neighbor to advertise these prefixes to everyone we can set other tags as well apart like instead of advertising no uh, sorry internet tag what we can do we can add no export committee tag in case of bgp as well or no advertise no export those are like other for example uh, tags that we can choose from if we for example uh, add 
no advertise tag no advertise at the name suggest if you are advertising the prefixes with the keyword no advertise no advertise basically means that the neighboring router will not advertise this prefix to anyone neighboring router will not advertise this prefix to anyone no advertise means don't advertise it to any neighbor no matter if it is ebgp no matter if it is ibgp it just doesn't matter you are not going to advertise this tag to anyone so this is like no advertise what else we can have we can add a tag while advertising the prefix as no export no export basically means that uh, we are not going to advertise this tag we are not going to advertise this tag to any ebgp neighbor no export that means i'm not going to export it outside my autonomous system so i am going to receive it i will advertise it to all of my ibgp neighbor but i'm not going to advertise it to everyone i'm just going to advertise it within the autonomous system but i'm not going to advertise it outside the autonomous system that is what we mean by no export no export basically means don't advertise it outside the autonomous system to any bgp ebgp basically neighbor in no export the prefixes will not be advertised to the real ebgp neighbor but if we have used the concept of confederation and this is my confed ebgp this is confederation and this is my confed ebgp in that case the prefix will be advertised if you don't want to advertise the prefix even to the config ebgp in that situation what you can do we can actually configure this uh, option local as local as basically means that i am not going to advertise it local as basically means that i'm not going to advertise it outside even the local autonomous system that means i'm i i will receive all these prefixes i will advertise it to my config ibgp but i'm not even going to advertise it to the other ebgp neighbor no matter if it is real ebgp or if it is confed ebgp so local as these are four well known companies like internet no advertise no export and local as internet means advertise it to everyone no advertise means do not advertise to anyone no export means do not export it outside the autonomous system and local as means do not export it outside the local autonomous system just ad advertise it within the local autonomous system these are called well known company tags that we can set on the prefixes and we can control what prefixes neighbor can advertise it to the other router or what prefixes it cannot advertise it to the other router apart from having these uh, well known companies we also have defined companies or private companies these are just tags just like we have router tags these are just tags such as for example when router 1 advertises the prefixes to router number 2 it will add the tag as 1 colon 1 x colon y format i can either tag i can add the tag in the xy format or we can add the tag in a simple numerical number format such as 100 200 whatever so either we can add the tag in this format x colon y format or we can add the tag this is the new format this is the old format ip bgp community new format is a command that we can use to change the format from old to new one but the point remains the same these are just numbers these are just tags that we can add on to the prefixes as per our requirement and later on we might want to perform the filtering as per the requirement as well later on we might do filtering as per our requirement as well these both the committees come under the standard committees in the standard committee we have a well known committees and we have the defined or private committees now apart from that we also have extended committees extended committees such as for example in bgp we have this thing called cost community here we have things such as for example uh, site of origin route target like we have different different like uh, extended committees as well uh, bgp can add extended committees uh, wherever it wants we can add the extended committees as per our requirement on the prefixes uh, but bgp can also add uh, uh, extended committees as like it wants right so such as for example when we use bgp in a uh, mpless service provider environment we will notice that uh, that route target extended committee will automatically get added in the border gateway protocol 
similar to that when we configure bgp in our um, you know sdvan environment then we will notice that the site of origin committee will be added automatically in that point is bgp can add these external committees automatically or it can also add uh, we can also add the committees as per our requirement right so bgp supports a lot of extended committees as well such as for example route target extended committee we have like traffic extended committees for traffic engineering we have like other uh, committees such as site of origin we have other committees such as uh, for example cost committee we have all uh, different like bgp committees as well so based on your requirement you can create your uh, you can add the tag onto the prefixes when it is advertising to the neighbor router and then we can match these prefixes based on the community list we can create a community list just like the acl prefix list in bgp we have this concept of community list so in border gateway protocol we can configure the bgp community list in that community list we can match the prefixes based on the community tag that we have added then we here we have like a standard community list here we have expanded community list in the standard community list we can use like uh, we can match the committees based on the number or the tags that we have configured in the expanded community list we use the concept of regular expression so we will create the community list in the community list we can match the prefixes based on the community tag that we have added and then we can either use it for like path manipulation in the route map or we can use it for route filtering in the route map so you can create a route map route map cisco match community and the list and then you can define like uh, uh, you, you want to deny or you want to permit in the route map statements itself so we can use the bgp committees to control like what path is is going to be the best path what path is going to be the backup path or we can control like for example uh, this prefix is allowed this prefix is not allowed right so that also comes under the uh, committee list bgp committee list allows us to control bgp committee list allows us to control like what prefixes can be received cannot be received or what is going to be the best path backup path and all those things we can control based on that committee list commands are simple like first create the committee list then create the route map in that route map match the committee list and then either set uh, the attributes change the attributes or perform route filtering based on the same so these these are the ways by which like you know we can use the committees to control uh, path selection and policy enforcement in the network we can control like okay this subnet you are going to receive but you are not going to advertise it to anyone else that can be done for example with the help of these committee tags